Hey, uh, what am I, what, oh god. Awkward, okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Book of Iron Tales 2. And I still have no idea what we're supposed to do with Wilbur, so we'll just go through all the rooms and be like, Hey, look at what's happening. It's been a week since I played this. Okay, so in this room we just saw the crystal ball, or magic ball. Um, we can touch nothing else. And when we touch that, he's like, I don't need to call anyone, I think he says. We also need to find some more loose pages. Still missing a few pages, but if I'm lucky, I'll find them all. I can save a book. Mm -hmm. Master Marcus's number won't help me anymore. He's probably already on his way to his live role-playing game. I have a fairy spell, and an automation spell, and an open spell. I don't know what we're opening, because we can only open things that are like... Tied? For opening tabs, knots, loops, and the like. Yeah, exactly. We do have bellows, we have needle and thread, which we're gonna make the book with. We have some old coins, I don't know who we're gonna pay. We have the wand. Uh, oh yeah, we have this magic slate, which is basically, I guess, an iPad with Siri. And a bad-tempered kobold, but I don't know what we're gonna do with that either. This little guy is trying to get out of the pencil case. He seems to be pretty annoyed. Maybe better if I'm not the first thing he sees when the pencil case opens. Hmm. I'm just gonna try everything, really. Fairy spell! I'm presuming we have to do something with the crystal ball later on. the moment I have no questions yeah okay so what can we do out in the classroom only thing we can do is like look at the flame oh yeah we have to take the flame with us somehow <sighs> how do we do that I think I've tried everything on it really Burn the spell? I don't think I want to do that though. I'm not burning any magic spells. Yeah. They're very valuable and I don't know all that many of them. <laughs> Oops. No. Nope. Use the fire maker to destroy its own plans. I don't think so. I'm not a real expert on irony or that kind of thing. Yeah, you have to be an expert in irony to do it. Of course you do. I think that's gonna work. No. No. Um, we can burn all the spells, but we don't want to do that. Oh, <gasps> we can light some notebook paper. I'll tear a sheet from the notepad into strips. They should do to get the fire to the fireplace. Oh. Let's give it a try. Now, hurry! Okay, we're hurrying, we're hurrying, I'm hurrying. Don't burn the troll though. Okay, awesome. Um, light the fire, please. Alright, progress! Yes! Done! Now, come on, burn! Did you say something, Professor Weathervane? I, um, I'm just about to summon fire with my magic skills. Oh, fire, um, come here. <laughs> Careful, Professor. <laughs> Don't burn the whole tower down around you. Um, sorry. The, the result though. was great, but how did I summon fire when all I did was wave my wand about? I don't like that. Well, maybe he just like... Um, he didn't summon the fire per se, he just like helped it grow, I would say, but okay. A lovely fire. You can already feel the room getting warmer. But the heat is just a positive side effect. The fire will take me to the missing library. 
Well, I still need the powder first for that, so we're sort of stuck again. The fire's large enough without the bellows. Okay. Alright, um... I don't know why I'm still- I still want to go search in the file cabinet. Um, I've gone through everything. And I guess we could do that again, just to check, but... Could I- should I misuse the broom on display to sweep out the entrance hall? I mean, a broom is a broom, right? Hmm, unfortunately I can't open the display case. It's locked, and I don't have a key. That is a problem. And none of our... I don't think any of these items will work. Nope. I've tried that, but it doesn't work. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess we can go talk to Headmaster Block just because we can. Really. Excuse me, Headmaster Block. Yes. Uh. No, not really. So uh, you do. You have already accomplished something, maybe, sort of. Okay. So there's basically nothing here that I know how to use. Alright, well, well we made a bit of progress. I'm gonna presume that's the only progress we're gonna be making in this episode. Yay! All that progress though. Wow, this isn't dust and dirt. It's like the funk of four even though no one's been here for twenty years. Yep, yep. I know, but we couldn't do that. We already tried. Oh yeah, we tried that, but it didn't work. <sighs> tried that, but it didn't work. Hmm. I can't leave until I've completed the three tasks and informed the- I don't want to let the arch make- So you can talk to the uh, troll troll- I don't troll. have anything to talk to him about, so that's good. <laughs> cool. So we're totally done here, are we? Yeah, it looks like it. I can't, like, touch anything. So we're done in here. So there's seriously something to do with the other two rooms. Aw, oh, man. How am I supposed to get up there to remove the cobwebs? I'm not good with heights. Like most gnomes, I get nervous when the soil is further than one gnome away. I guess... I don't know what to do. Go through the file cabinet again? I don't know. I don't know, you just said there's um, nothing in it. I don't know how any of this is going to help me, but... Oh, man. Alright, I don't know, let's talk to the headmaster about the tasks or something. I don't know what he's going to say, but... Excuse me, headmaster block! Yeah. Yes. Uh, a yeah. If I have to clean the hall, is there anything I can use to do it with? The caretaker troll was supplied accordingly. Ask him. I've done that. He doesn't want to give me anything. You are a professor. He is a janitor. Assert yourself. Then why am I, am I cleaning the hallway? The cobwebs in the hall are a long way up. 
And you may not have noticed, but I'm a rather average sized gnome. That is no excuse. Get to work. All kobolds have been driven off, as far as I can tell. Good job, then. How did the vermin actually get in here? Um... For, um... Maybe they're in town on business and got lost? Some joker must have summoned them. Or the Archmage. Probably wants me to look bad in my new job. Luckily, I was able to contain the cobbled plague. Well, actually, it was me. Certainly. But who ordered you to do it? Uh-huh. About the fireplace map over there? Yes. It shows several fireplaces in the school. Of course. Large and important buildings can have more than just one access to the fireplace travel network. One of them seems to be in the missing library. Hmm. Good thinking, Weathervane. Get to the bottom of it. I'm already on it. But even if the fireplace was still reachable, don't you need a special magic powder to use the network? True. You need some extremely rare and valuable fireplace travel powder. Only high-ranking civil servants receive small amounts of it. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Talking to him was a good idea. Aren't you listening? Only high-ranking civil servants get some for personal use. But I thought I was supposed to find the missing library. Of course, but without wasting my fireplace travel powder. Thank you very much. Oh, grats. I don't know how to get into the missing library without your fireplace travel powder. That's your problem. I assign tasks, you complete them. Oh my gosh. Or at least try. If this is the real world, I'd never want to get a job. Um, what I wanted to... Hmm? So, I'll get back... You do that. After all, you have already accomplished something. Uh-huh. There's enough fireplace travel powder in the jar to take me to the library a hundred times. Okay, I need but to get I that. can I get some without the headmaster noticing? Um, kobold? Haha, <laughs> time for a little distraction. Yes! Hopefully this will get Blocky's attention. Yeah. Hmm? Hmm. So that would be the next... Ah! Ah! Go away! Whee! Did you see that, Weathervane? The insolence! Unbelievable! The things one must put up with here! Appalling, Headmaster! Because, you know, it's not like your travel powder is gone or anything. Whee! Alright, to the library! Woo! Yes! Progress! Well, this should be interesting. The flames have turned green and the fire is suddenly cool. I guess it worked. Mm. It's not a normal fire anymore. It's cool and can take me anywhere on the fireplace travel network. Enter the fire. I guess I just have to think of the symbols that are painted on the plan next to the library fireplace. Owl, worm, rat. Owl, worm and rat. <laughs> Hope you actually get to the library. Oh, this looks like a library. Wow! Wherever the missing library is, I'm inside it now. Oh, that's where the door is supposed to be. Huh? Uh, hello? What is it? What does it want here? My name is Wilbur Weathervane. Who is speaking? It's scary. It should not be here. Um. Ow. Ah, uh, no. Books. He's trying to break loose. Help! He has awakened. What does it want? Just ask it. Him? Who, who are you? Uh, we are books, so, um. 
Yes, books. That is the word. And you're alive? Uh, that uh, is none of your business. What happened? I found the library and I heard noises. I guess that was probably you. Uh, the book is more powerful than the... Uh, than the... Uh, thingy. <clears throat> What's it called again? You know, um, for writing. Right. The book is mightier than the... thingy. Um, okay. Sure. Yep. Absolutely. Of course, it is. So, the missing library's your home? It, uh, isn't missing. It was here the whole time. Well, oh. for the rest of us out there, it wasn't there. Out there? You know, in the school. J -j shoot you know anything about them? I am... You wear them on your feet. So you mean your feet thought the thing here had disappeared? Um, yep. Exactly. Would you mind letting me get up? It's pretty uncomfortable, yeah? Haha, <laughs> never! But at some point you'll have to let me get up. Is that possible? Um, what? That we, uh, sooner or later, have to let him get up. Um, no idea. The, uh, the answer to your question is, um, is, uh... Okay. Okay, I'll just lie here for now. Ha, <laughs> exactly. Like, um... I'm not being funny, but you seem to be pretty confused to me. Confused? Ha! <laughs> We are, uh, we, we're books. We, we know everything. All right, then. So come on, tell me. What type of books are you? Well, me? Uh, well, I'm a big, um, uh, the fee, uh, lost so fee book. <laughs> and my comrade here is, uh, thingy. I am a, um, you write words in it and explain them. Hey, yeah, a, a written word explanation book. There's something pretty weird here. How about we try and figure out what's going on here? What do you reckon? You can't trust it. We don't know what it is. It is not a book. I say we throw it out the window so that its leaves are scattered to the four winds. I uh, think you're right. It has its own thoughts, and that is not a good thing, I think. Well, I think you're getting a little bit carried away with yourselves. Careful! It's tearing itself loose! Woo! Mm. <sighs> it's uh, coming right for us! What a monster! <laughs> Look you, I won't hurt you, but something really weird is going on here, and I am not going to let you throw me out the window. Uh, make it go away. We don't like it. We know it not. It scares us. Nasty hobbit. I'm a gnome, not a hobbit. Look at the notes, Wilbur. So interesting books. A note? In his nose. This is a spell. I think it's even... Yes! The fire spell! The most important spell of all to a mage! I finally have it! Whoa! Yeah! Go Wilbur. Fireplace. Oh, actually that's gonna be really handy if we want to get back from here, I just realized. If it weren't so scary here, the library could be a really nice place. I think it once was. You don't see doilies anywhere else in the school. Take it. What was this? Not desk? sure this desk was meant for students. It might have belonged to the librarian. Looking at the tools, a large part of the work must have been the care and repair of books. Oh, we can repair the book we're trying to find here. Hmm, empty. Everything that might once have been in there seems to be spread across the desk. I need wood for a fireplace. And instead of burning books or a shelf, 
I'd rather have something that no one seems to use. Cool. Let's just take the entire... Absolutely. Good. Oh. Desk? Okay. Uh... Hmm. Jelly glowfish usually only survive a few years if nobody looks after them. Perhaps the books fed them so they wouldn't have to live here in total darkness. Wouldn't that be terrible? To be locked in a library and not have enough light to read all the wonderful <laughs> books around you. Yeah, yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. Be ironic, to say the least. Oh, this book is in worse than poor condition. The glue has given up the ghost and now several pages are missing. Here's one of the pages. I'll take it with me. Hmm. If I could repair the book, that might convince the other books that I mean them no harm. I would have to sew the missing pages together and then glue them to the book spine. Dum to doodaloo. Huh? Do you know anything about book repair? I know everything. Uh huh. You have to sew the pages together, right? A few at a time. Correct. The so called choirs. And these choirs are then glued to the book? Correct. For which you need wheat starch paste. Uh, I don't have any of that. Alternatively, alchemically manufactured adhesives or some natural products such as troll snot can be used. You're kidding me. Troll snot? Correct. Troll snot forms the basis of many industrial adhesives. Thank you for this valuable and somewhat disgusting information. Cheers. We are seriously going to have to go find ourselves some troll snot. Like, seriously, from the trolling troll. Like, for real. Ah, amazing. That's the sixth sheet. I think there's only one missing now. Oh. Hmm. If I could repair them, I would have to sew the missing page. Okay. Just one sheet missing. All right. Once I have that, I can fix the poor book in the library, and hopefully the other books will accept me as a friend. Awesome. Fire spell, we have a fine doily, and we have a wooden drawer. Okay. That wall is probably where the door used to be. This wall, uh, this arch, it looks like a door belongs here, but there's only a wall. It's almost as if this room was hiding from the world, or was it forgotten? This wall... Alright. I wonder if the books were always alive, or were they brought to life because of this place? And shouldn't books be terribly wise creatures? Why are the ones here so simple-minded? I probably shouldn't try to take a book, but cool. That's strange. The writing is very pale and fuzzy. It's almost as if... Ah! Ah! <sighs> I have to get used to these living books. <laughs> I think the library goes even further up there. One can hardly see anything because it's so dark, and I don't see a ladder or a stairway that would lead up there. If the librarian wasn't some sort of monkey, uh, I mean an ape, I don't know how he'd get up there. Or she. I thought there weren't very many books in this school. No wonder. They're all here. Depending on what lies beyond the passages, this could easily be the largest magic library in the country. I think it could. Alright, let's see if I've... Oh, I haven't clicked on these books. Cool. The books have all retreated to the shelves. I don't know which ones attacked me. Listen, I won't hurt you. I've been looking for you. You and the library should come back to the school. Make it go away. It scares us. But I won't hurt you. How can I prove that? Go away. Go away. Okay. All right, let's go back home and, I don't know, get troll snot or something. The fire spell can't burn long on its own. It's intended oh. to ignite flammable things. Oh. Fine, put the jar in the fireplace. It would be better if the headmaster never finds out about this. Yes, probably. Because there's nothing else we can look at here. No, I don't think so. Oh. Why? Okay. 
I don't know why that happened, but awesome. Igni Faxius Ignis Ferro. I'm slowly getting the hang of this. What did it do? It summoned the Red Devourer. Oops. That was the last of the fireplace travel powder, but I think it was enough. I hope I can travel as much as I want now. Yeah, okay, still green, awesome. Now, I need troll snot. Presumably in the doily. Um, hello. Hello. Ah, why have you always got to be in my face? Because you're in mine. Headmaster Block has ordered you to give me some of the cleaning supplies. Right. So, you, you're doing it? Of course. Then, give them to me. Oh, sure. You're making fun of me, right? No. Ah, no matter what I do, you're not going to give me anything to use to tidy up, right? Of course I will. Ah, ah I'm going to get a broom myself. I have to go. <clears throat> okay. So no troll snot. Oh. Look here. Isn't it pretty? Ugly. That's not true. Got it from my grandmother. It's an heirloom. And wah, it means a lot to me. <laughs> Thank you for showing it to me. Ha <laughs> ha! I tricked you. I wanted your snot in the cloth. Oh wow! You're so great! Snot! Not you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright, well we have that, but we still need the, the last page of the book. Um, and we also need to still open this display case all right let's go to the library what <laughs> I like how he teleported teleportation yo uh, let's see if we can um... can we use this anywhere I have the troll snot which is supposed to stick better than any glue but I can't glue the pages in individually. First of all, I have to use a needle and a thread to sew all the missing pages together into a choir. Do this? No, I have to do... I could sew the pages into a choir later, but I still haven't found all of them. Okay. So I actually need to find everything I have first. the trolls, but I can't glue the... P okay. So we can't do that now, so we have to find the last page. Right. Alright. I guess we can talk to the headmaster or something. Maybe he says something else now. Excuse me, headmaster block. Yes. Uh yeah. I was in the library. It's fine. More or less. Really? Where is it? Well, it's it's not easy to get into. You just need a little bit of magic. Unfortunately, that is unacceptable. The library is a room like every other room in this building, and it has to live with the fact that staff and students may want to enter it in the conventional manner. Through the door. But, but how? I do not care how. Get the room back, Professor. And then I can finally return this loose page to where it <gasps> belongs. He has it, he has it, he has it. Um, what I wanted... Hmm? That note you have there, it looks like a page from a book. Yes, indeed. It's an incomplete travelogue. The traveler, apparently a researcher, speaks of a country called Laputa. The arts, sciences, languages and crafts are revolutionary. Very exciting concepts, but unfortunately, the book is incomplete. If you give me the page, I might be able to find the rest of the book for you. Hmm. 
thank you. I'd like the whole story. I'm sure the tale will end well and will serve as a role model for us. Yeah, take um, it. Ta. I'm not sure it will. Because um, Laputa is part of Gulliver's Travels, and I don't know if... Well, I haven't actually read the book myself, but feels like there should be irony in his stating that it should end well be a role model because I'm pretty sure that book is in, is intended as satire. So. So, I'll get back to work then. You do that. After all. Yeah. All right. Now I'll sew the seven together. Done. A beautiful new choir for a book. We awesome. Okay, let's actually go to the library before we stop for today. Whee. All right, we're in the library, so let's take a break right here, and we're gonna fix the book in the next episode. We so apparently we're fixing Gulliver's Travels, which is awesome. Uh, anyways, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the book of our Tales crew. Sorry, and I'll see y'all later.